Leopard Star's character arc has always felt rather incomplete. The start is pretty strong. She was raised as a survivor after her mother and littermates died, and she grew up being spoiled while also being subject to a lot of pressure for her to become a great warrior. Those expectations paid off, leading her down the path to become River Clan's leader, but with those expectations came insecurity. And with that insecurity, the misconception that she needed Tiger Star's help to make River Clan safe. And she also foolishly fell in love with him, but that's besides the point. The point is that under Tiger Star's rule, Leopard Star allowed her clan to be savaged and Stoneford to be killed for his ancestry. Feathertail, Stormfur, and Mistyfoot only narrowly escaped the same fate, and this is where the incompleteness comes in. Leopard Star's story has a beginning and a middle, but no resolution. We know that she regrets her decision, and in the heat of the moment, she had no power to defy Tiger Star, but the point stands that she did an awful thing. And she, along with Black Star, got off relatively scot free when the clans reformed after the Blood Clan battle. And that's where the recently released Feathertail manga comes in. We are finally holding Leopard Star accountable for her actions. And this story is actually a great starting point for a Leopard Star Super Edition that might be in the near future. I was skeptical about a Shadow and River Clan at first. I didn't think there was a story to be told in the old River Clan. But as it turns out, mangas being as short as they are, don't need something huge to be interesting. And the conflict between a leader who made an awful mistake, and the cat whose life was forever wrecked from said mistake, was a great pick. And James Barry did an amazing job with the art. He's definitely made some beautiful cats and environments this time, really giving us a cool platform for Feathertail and Leopard Star's development. This is a story about grief, grudges, and mistrust, but also accountability and forgiveness. Feathertail finds herself being the only River Clan cat stuck in the past after Leopard Star rebuilds, and honestly, her emotions are super valid. Finally, we see some consequences to Leopard Star's actions. Feathertail's thoughts are extremely defiant to the point they're even humorous at times. I love how she's able to find strength in her own struggle, that while her belief in justice makes her outcast at first, it ultimately gives her the courage to fight. As the story says, it's wounded animals that end up being the most dangerous. The fox conflict is so important to Leopard Star's character. It reflects that she has changed, she is willing to sacrifice a life and be shredded in order to let her clanmates flee. Taking the blow for her clanmates when in the past, she lets Stonefur take the blow for her. And Feathertail responds to the change in her character, by finally giving Leopard Star loyalty back. Trust is a two-way street, and when both cats are willing to make sacrifices, they find a way to work with all their heart. Leopard Star attempting to make the sacrifice here is in a very similar vein to the sacrifice that Feathertail would ultimately make in Moonrise. I don't think it's a long shot to say that Leopard Star's example gave Feathertail the courage to take on the quest and make the decision she did with the stalactite. This story shows the strength and accountability. No mistake marks the end of the line for someone. It just means that you have to own up to the full consequences of your past actions, and do everything in your power to set things right. Sasha made the mistake of loving the wrong cat, but ultimately came through in the love and sacrifice she made for her kits. Feathertail outcast herself from her clan, but showed she was still on their side through saving Hawkpaw and fighting the fox. Adorable, precious Fern Cloud. She learned that border crossing wasn't to be taken lightly when the code is so vital to the way the clans function. And of course, Leopard Star. She comes to understand that her decisions left scars on her clanmates, that she would have to fight with every bone in her body to make things right. Leopard Star's character spotlight on the Warriors website talks about how her loyalty to River Clan never wavered, as Firestar had said after her death. So should her super edition come out, I do think it could be very interesting having a theme about her trying her hardest, making huge mistakes, and then still trying her hardest despite that. I wasn't excited at the thought of a Leopard Star super edition at first, but I'm happy to be proved wrong.